18 minutes. Hmm. That's so weird. I cleared so much space from my phone. Still, I have but 18 minutes and 59 seconds. Whatever. Anyways, this video is gonna be me in the dark mostly because I want to talk deep into my personal shit as much as I can without being too detailed about the details and um, without showing my crying face if I have to start crying so so yeah this is how this one's gonna be I hate sounding like I'm bitching all the time. Even just saying that sounds like I'm bitching and I hate it. I hate that I said it, that I feel it, that I feel the need to say it so I can feel better. I hate it. I hate all of it. But I can't help that that's how it is. I can try to ignore it. I can try to push it down. Try to pretend it's not there, it doesn't exist, but all that's going to do is have me dealing with a little part of myself in private, in the most private senses, and probably ultimately leading to my early death somehow. Because that's what happens when you hold things inside, when you don't let them out, when you start getting sick. Physically, mentally, emotionally, you just become unstable. Whatever it is that you keep pushing down, that you keep trying to hold inside of you, it just eventually makes its way known. Makes its way known to you. And it... It's inevitable, so why, why try and fight it or argue with it or ignore it, you know? Just accept it and talk about it and deal with it. Try to understand it. And move on. You know, that's the best advice people can give, and it's really good advice for the most part. For me, it's not so helpful because, well, mostly because my path is completely different from literally every single person on this planet. Mostly because I've made it so, because the mission was never to put your family first before everything. It was always to put the world, yourself, your body, and the world. And don't let others affect that. But I've, I've done that, and I've made promises to the gods and creators of the universe in our world for actions my soul will take should I should I die or should someone I love succumb to this fucking prison planet and I've been heard because there's already several family members that I I should have lost by now, but I didn't because I refused to to just let them be the narrators in their own lives and just not intervene in any way. You know, I could have been living such a different life right now. 
but I would have been probably even more heartbroken because I would have lost my family. And even though I don't talk to them really at this moment, at least they're alive, at least I know they're living good lives now and they're, for the most part, a lot better off than than what, you know, what it was before in all levels and aspects of their beings. So, I don't regret any of that, but it's just really hard, you know, having to go through all of this alone and not being able to talk to anybody about it because you're just, you don't want to seem crazy or you don't want to seem, you know, like pathetic or you don't want to seem annoying. You just don't want to give off any negative vibration, you know, it's really hard. <clears throat> really cold outside right now. It's 7.09 in the morning on December 12th, 2020. We have a lot of work to do today. A lot. We just came from San Antonio yesterday. Actually, we went to San Antonio and then we went back to Laredo and then we went to Zapata and then back to Laredo. We were driving all fucking day yesterday on the road. It's so... Oh, God. But yeah, we made like 200 bucks or something, so... It's pretty cool. So, and we have a lot of work we need to do right now. I gotta call my doctors or set the find out what hospital I'm going to do the surgery at, and my surgery is coming up on the 29th, I'm so fucking nervous about it, which is dumb, because when I was 17, I didn't give a fuck, and right now I'm like, like, twice that age, and I'm fucking nervous as hell, like, it doesn't make sense. Am I 34 already? Oh, shit, I am. No, I'm 33. 33. Be 34. Holy shit, I'm getting old. <sighs> 